أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآل وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Islam teaches development of character and conduct and gives preference to the statement that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says one of the biggest points that will drive people of heaven into heaven would have been their character and conduct respected brothers and sisters Here is one of the amazing stories in Islam. To start with, Thabit bin Nu'man, one of the great predecessors, he was passing a garden of the various apple trees bordered a river. He was very tired and very hungry that he could hear his stomach growling. While walking near the garden, He saw an apple fruits. Because of very tired and very hungry, he forget himself and extended his hand to an apple fruit, to an apple fruit that was within his reach. He ate half of it and then drank water from the river. But then he became over come by guilt despite despite the fact that he only eaten because of dire need he said to himself woe unto me how can i eat someone fruits without his permission without his permission he made binding upon himself not to leave the place until he find the owner of the garden and ask for forgiveness for having eaten one of his apples. After a brief search, he found the owner's house. He knocked on the door and the owner of the garden opened the door and asked him what he wanted. Thabit bin Nu'man said, I entered your garden and I took this apple and ate half of it. Then I realized that the apple does not belong to me and so I ask you to excuse me for having eaten it and to forgive me for my mistake. The owner said, On one condition only, I will forgive you for your mistake. Thabit bin Nu'man asked, What is the condition? The owner said, That you marry my daughter. Thabit bin Nu'man agreed to marry her daughter. The owner said again, But he do something. Indeed, my daughter is blind. She does not see. Mute, she does not speak. And deaf, she does not hear. Thabit bin Nu'man began to ponder over his situation. A difficult predicament indeed did he find himself to be in now. After all, The day of this world are short and limited and so he accepted the condition to marry the girl seeking his reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Lord of all that exist he was nonetheless someone somewhat anxious in the days prior to the marriage he thought How can I have relationship with a woman who can speak, sees, and hears? So miserable he become that he almost wishes for the air to swallow him before the wedding day. Date. Yet, despite the apprehension, 
He placed His complete trust upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He said, There is neither might nor power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. The meaning is more or less. Indeed, to Allah we belong, and to Him we return. On the day of His marriage, He saw the bride for the first time. The bride stood up before Him and said to Him, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you and the mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you. When Thabit bin Nu'man saw her, he was astonished because of her grace and beauty. After a brief pause, he said, What is this? She indeed speaks, hears, and sees. He then told the bride what her father had said to him. The bride said, My father has spoken the truth. The bride said, I was mute because I do not speak any forbidden word and I had never spoken to a man who is not lawful to me and I am deaf in the sense that I had never sat in a gathering in which there was backbiting, slander, or false and vain speech. And I was blind in the sense that I had never looked upon a man who is not permissible for me. The juicy part of the story is the analysis of the story itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly tested the piety of Thabit bin Nu'man. First, Thabit bin Nu'man felt guilty which leads him to admit his mistake and accepts whatever punishment for getting one apple and eating ha and eaten half of it that belongs to other. But instead of penalty or punishment, the owner of the apple tree forgive his sin with condition that Thabit bin Nu'man to marry his daughter. Second, to marry someone, to marry someone who is blind, deaf, and mute is indeed a lifetime sacrifice. In the midst of the hopelessness of the situation, Thabit bin Nu'man realized that to be tested by such a woman to take care and to serve her is far better than disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laws and commandments. Respected brothers and sisters, let's reflect and learn a lesson from the story of this pious man and this pious woman and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought them together. There is nothing wrong with making mistake. What is wrong is letting a mistake stay a mistake without putting in effort to make it right. Trial does not serve as key to hate, but rather doors to greater faith. Trials does not come to make us fall, but rather for us to look Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amazing call. The truth is that anyone, no matter how good the circumstances could be, can find a reason to have a negative attitude 
in anyone, no matter how bad the circumstances could be, can find a way to maintain a good attitude. My beloved, respected brothers and sisters, the choice is yours. The fruits of these noble merits, because of their honesty and piety, was the birth of Imam Abu Hanifa An-Nu'man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. Imam Abu Hanifa An-Nu'man, one of the great imams who filled the earth with Islamic knowledge. Wa akulu kawli haza nastagfirullah al-azim walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.